Welcome. This is Ian with your hometown handyman bringing in a small project. That's what this company specializes in and today we are in Melbourne, Florida. So this is a quickie today I just want to share with you. It's a closet bifold door. A lot of the times these things are they could be made better but they do the job as long as you're careful with them. So I'll show you what we're dealing with. Right here you can see that's got a bit of an angle to it and it's loose. So when I move the door, you can see there's a lot of play in it. This part is okay, but since this part isn't working properly and the door is angled, you can see how it's at the bottom it's come off and at the top it's leaning out. So what we gotta do is we gotta probably add a bracket up here, a securing bracket to help fix that wobble in there. You can see this guy is needing some love. So we're gonna attach that to the floor, secure it better, and the customer will be back on track. So we'll get to it. It's a quick one, but can be very helpful when it's working again. So let's get after it. Okay, real quick, I wanna show you a couple important parts on this setup here. So you've got the headrail mounting bracket that's gonna secure this stud that goes up here. What that's gonna do is gonna help keep that in place. It's got a spring. So when you install these doors, sometimes it's easiest to come from the top. Go inside the closet, go and put the top in first into this bracket here, this stud here going into that bracket. And then swing the bottom in down to this bracket. So start top, push up, and then swing the bottom of this door in on top of this bracket. There's a little metal, another little metal stud underneath here, kind of has a star shape to it on the bottom, and it fits into the grooves on this bracket so it stays put. That's one way you can do that to make it a little easier on the install. And then you can see we are looking pretty good on the gap on the side and the top, but What's happening is we still need to adjust. You can see there, they're not closing all the way. So what's gonna have to happen is they're gonna have to get adjusted. So we'll do that now and get everything to line up nicely. All right, for this guy, we are going to take these screws out. This is loose. What we want to do is we want to put it back in place, but we are going to put some longer screws in there. This is going to go back in place there. Concrete screw for that. We're going to use a tap con. Sometimes you might have to put the drill bit back down in the hole a few times to clear the dust out. Try to get this last screw in. We might need to angle it a little bit. Move on to hanging the door. Alrighty, we got the door back intact. It's got a decent gap around the whole perimeter. Nothing's really too tight one way or another. You gotta leave a little bit of play in between the doors. That way they close nicely. But for the most part, I think we've done it again. That one's working good. Bring this one in. That one's working good. All right, mission complete. All right, that was a quick, easy one today. It's nice when they can be like that for everybody. Don't want to have to struggle too much with some of these items. Some of these doors, they're, they'll be beyond fixable. Of course, you can rig something always, but 
you want them to last, you need to be very easy with them. And then they do sell brackets and some other parts and replacement parts and pieces in case these are repairable if they're not too far gone. So I can leave a link for some of those in the description of the comments of the post. So that way if you have some, if you got some doors you want to try to save them, there are parts you can use to fix them. So if you'd like to get a hold of me, I'd like to help you any way I can. The number is 321-355-2201. And yeah, just give me a call, reach out to me, direct message, however works for you. And just remember, this company specializes in not only helping you love the home you live in and small projects, but making happy customers. See you on the next episode. Thanks for joining. See you.